Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hopefully everyone's seen the exciting Silent Hill announcement that happened overnight. I don't even know where to begin. Silent Hill 2 is one of my favorite games of all time, so I'm just super excited for this, for anything Silent Hill. Let's, 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 let's get this thing started. I want to talk about it. I'm posting pictures, trying to be someone I'm not. Hey trophy hunters, so as you would have seen, there's some Silent Hill news. Uh, Silent Hill is coming to Dead by Daylight. Just, I don't know. This is something I never, ever thought would happen. My, my Silent Hill lighting is kind of, it's kind of flickering a little bit in the background. I was trying to make it like the, like I'm being dragged into Silent Hill. I don't know if it kind of works. But Silent Hill is coming to Dead by Daylight, which is, which is awesome. It's so exciting. Dead by Daylight was a game that I played tons of, like literally thousands of hours of over the last couple of years. Uh, being an asymmetrical horror game. I like horror games. I'm really, really into horror titles like Silent Hill, Deadly Premonition, Resident Evil. Uh, they all kind of tick the boxes of the type of things that I enjoy playing a lot of. And Dead by Daylight kind of took that and... Uh, I don't know, it, it, it made it, it randomized it, I guess, because having the killer as a player means that you have no idea what that person's thinking, and it kind of created an element of, of like intrigue and mystery. So let's, we can talk about that in a second. Let's talk about this news. Essentially, uh, overnight, Konami's Twitter account tweeted out a trailer for the next chapter in Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight released about three or four chapters a year. Normally they involve a new killer, sometimes licensed, sometimes new, and a survivor, as well as a map. Uh, in the past they've done, uh, I was gonna say Friday the 13th, they haven't done that. Uh, Mike Myers from Halloween, uh, Freddie Mercury from, um, from, um, Nightmare on Elm Street. That took me so much longer than it should have to remember. And, uh, etc, etc. So, the, so Konami tweeted out and announced that Silent Hill would be the newest chapter in Dead by Daylight. So, it's not a new Silent Hill game yet. But it is something new from Silent Hill, which we haven't had since the PS3 release of Silent Hill Downpour way back when, 2012, I think? Um, which was so long ago, that game did terribly for Konami, so since then they've seemingly abandoned the franchise and they've really done nothing with it from a gaming perspective. So having some Silent Hill news is good news. Uh, it's really cool to see Pyramid Head looking all, all high res and HD and the character model looks really, really so solid in that render and also Heather from Silent Hill 3 who seems to be the new survivor in Dead by Daylight. So I'll explain a little bit more about what Dead by Daylight is shortly for those who aren't aware of it but the relevance of this news I, I think it's significant. Um, Konami stopped publishing games for a really long time. They've stopped making anything really so having them make something again is, is exciting. Even if they didn't have anything to do with it and they just licensed out that character to the studio to make that's still a really good step for keeping Silent Hill alive because realistically they didn't have to do it. They could have just said no. So the fact that they were open to doing that is pretty exciting. Now, on top of that, and on top of this, this deal for Silent Hill, this kind of leads me into thinking perhaps there is more to this than meets the eye. Maybe this is the first step of a multi-step process in us getting a new Silent Hill game. Uh, it's been rumored for a really long time that Silent Hill has been licensed to Sony uh, to publish the game as a second party title potentially on the PlayStation 5. Maybe a launch title, maybe a launch window title with Konami kind of licensing that out to them to produce. I think the likelihood of that is, is relatively high. Sony has a lot of influence in Japan. They've worked with Konami uh, for a number of years now on different titles. And, uh, and Sony have a really capable studio over in Japan, in Japan Studios, who could take up the helm of an IP like that, work potentially with devs at Konami as well, and produce that title in-house as a second party title, launching exclusively on that platform. So, do I think that's likely? Yeah, I, I, I do now. Uh, if you'd asked me that same question a day ago before this announcement, I would have said that that rumor was probably not that true. It has been cycling around for a while, so it's, it's I guess it is gaining more credibility, but given uh, Konami's kind of like silence in terms of just gaming, it, it's sort of hard to believe. Uh, but now that they've actually gone ahead and done this, it tells me that they are doing stuff. Um, 
we have seen in recent time as well Konami have made the Castlevania Netflix television show which which shows that they're doing stuff with that IP as well so they're obviously interested in kind of creeping back into different areas where it makes sense for them uh, licensing out the IP to Sony would be a really smart move because essentially it gives their IP more life they get money for licensing the title we get the IP Sony makes money out of it everyone kind of wins in a way and Konami probably gets additional royalties on top of however well the game sells and then their IP is alive again essentially if they decided they wanted to revisit it later and make another game out of it Sony's kind of done all the hard leg work and getting that done and marketing it promoting it and selling it for them that they want to make a sequel to that or whatever it may be they can kind of go and do that without too much trouble so it does seem like a smart move uh, but I guess on top of all of that uh, and the reason that I would give more credibility to this now more than ever is the fact that Konami was willing to give their IP to Behavior, which is the developers of Dead by Daylight, or at least license their IP to Dead by Daylight to use in their game. The fact that they're willing to do that tells me that they'll be willing to license their IP out to other developers, hence why I think that there, there legitimately could be credibility to the Sony rumor now. So what does this mean for Dead by Daylight? Well, uh, like I said at the top, Dead by Daylight gets new chapters every couple of months. The newest chapter is going to be Silent Hill, which includes Pyramid Head as a killer for a player to play as. It includes Heather as a survivor for a player to play as. And it includes a new map, which I believe is the high school from Silent Hill 3 as well. Um, that will just be in integrated into the main game. You'll probably have to pay for it like you do for most DLC packs. And then you'll be able to use those characters alongside all the other characters in the game. If you're not aware of Dead by Daylight, it's an asymmetrical horror game where four people play as survivors, one person plays as a killer. The thing that makes it really special is that they're both players. A player is a good guy, a player is a bad guy. But it creates random elements and these random things occurring depending on who you're matched up with. You never know what the killers are thinking, you never know what the survivors are thinking. And because of that, it just creates these interesting and exciting moments. Personally, it... it, it it scratches that edge for me because it gives you a, a horror game but the horror continues to be unscripted and random which means it continues to be terrifying every time you play it and uh, and that kind of kind of does something for me which is good i'm a massive fan of of um of dead by daylight i haven't played it i don't actually think i've played it this year to be honest uh, i do need to jump back into it again but uh yeah some of the older fans of the channel will remember i was playing it way back when i used to do videos on this channel and um it was actually one of the things that pulled me away from trophy hunting was that I was spending so much time playing Dead by Daylight, I wasn't spending enough time trophy hunting and, and, and keeping updated with the channel. So it was, a, it was a cruel mistress. But I have overcome that addiction now and, uh, and that's long gone. This is super exciting though. I'll, I mean, I'll probably continue to try and cover this on the channel as well as it develops more. Hopefully I've had the trailer running so you can see what it looks like somewhere throughout this. And uh, yeah, it's super exciting. Are you guys excited for this or is it just is it just me? Hopefully it's not just me. I know a lot of the comments online were saying that they were disappointed that this was all we were getting as Silent Hill fans. And yeah, I do understand that sentiment of well, give us another game, just give us another game. But I, I think this is a good first step. I think if Konami sees that this is popular, if they're not already doing something and they, they, they see that this is popular, it might spur them to do something. But the likelihood now is that they, they are doing something else behind the scenes. We just don't know about it yet. So we'll know more, I guess, in the coming months when we find out more about PS5. But for now, not a new Silent Hill game, but kind of a new Silent Hill game within another game. And to be honest, the way that Silent Hill has been treated over the past five, six, seven, eight, nine years, I'll, I'll take this over the way it's been treated any day because it's it's been treated like trash and I'm just glad to be getting something from this franchise. Hopefully I've got some other Silent Hill or Dead by Daylight fans in the audience as well. Let me know if you are and let me know if you're excited for this like I am. If you are, then uh, then maybe we can jump on and play some together when it comes out. If you enjoyed this video as well, guys, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I've been told that if you smash the like button instead of just hitting it, then uh, something special will happen. So make sure you keep doing that. And if you're new to the channel and you're just discovering this video for whatever reason, welcome. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you can keep updated with news updates like this. I, I, I do them very regularly on the channels. So join the family. Um, that's all from me though, guys. Hopefully, oh, hopefully there's a new sign. All right, I'm off. Goodbye. It's time to wake the hell up.